Easy guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. And today we're learning how to turn everything into hi-hats like this. So let's grab any sample like this. As you can see, we get different hi-hats with different hits and we can turn literally anything into a bloody hi-hat. As long as it has uh, like high frequency information, we can literally make I hats out of anything. Sure, let's grab this. So, as you can see, we can literally just make hi hats out of everything. This is for because of one simple reason. I hats usually. Uh, they don't have a lot of content and variation within them. What I mean by this is most of the hi-hats have a transient and a body that are characteristic and then everything else is just like pure noise. Uh, and the reason why this works uh, so well, like to make so many different hi-hats, is because I've got an envelope here that's long enough to really just capture the transient, which is going to be the initial click over the sample itself alongside with a little bit of the click of the noise. And then you've got the noise layered with the li tiny little bit of body that I let go through uh, using the sample. So depending on whatever it is that you put in, it's always going to be different because these two sections here will be different. And that's really what matters. Um, besides, you can always like change the pitch and make crazy highs. You know, make some cool stuff like this simply because you're changing the way the sample works. So that's kind of like the gist of it. Um, so then all you need to do here is grab any sample that you want. Just grab the high frequencies that you want. Here I'm high passing everything at around seven and a half kilohertz. Then you distort it to give it some volume and just set the short envelope like that. And then you do the same thing with noise. Perhaps you high pass a little bit lower so you get a little bit of more content. And at least that's what I did. And I you just leave a slightly longer envelope. After that, when it comes to processing, there's not much. Uh, I've just got... I'm just monoing everything, apparently. Or rather, I'm just... Yeah, exactly. I'm just monoing everything. Uh, this is because like some samples can actually be a little problematic. When it comes to stereo, but you can you can pretty safely just like you, it doesn't really matter. Like you, you see, like how in situations like this, you can have a little bit of a problem with stereo. So I just kind of mono everything so I don't get like some crazy hi hats. But nonetheless, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you can apply some distortion just to bring everything up and a little bit of compression, and then just a little high pass to clean everything again. And this is like how you make the basic patch, right? It's just a sample, uh, a little bit of noise and some minimal processing. It's really easy to like to make your own hi-hats like this. Uh, but as obviously you can expand a little bit more on what you can and cannot do with this. So for example, we could use a vocoder, just do this. And as you can see, we can make like more noisy hi-hats that we can then layer with the original one. Right. You can shift the format, which is cool to give like a little bit of a tone to your hi hats. You can um, you give them a little bit of reverb as well. Uh, you can give them a little bit of modulation, so you can have so you can have a little bit of a more controlled stereo effect, like a, a bit of not a stereo effect, obviously, but like a, a stereo fill thing. Like you can manage your stereo fill a little bit more. You can do crazy weird perks with like just delay stuff delay based stuff like coral here you know and you can make like use comb filters to like create some weird textures and stuff like that so it's it's really easy really fun and really straightforward let's stick with the vocoder here and let's make a full hi-hat for example for example you can also use ring modulation for this uh like for example you could use man pass noise and just do something like that You know, just make everything a bit louder. 
can spread it as well. Do something fun like that. Or you could do self. Just basically using itself to ring modulate it. But you can also use ring uh, like a normal sine wave. You could even use an external input to ring modulate stuff. But honestly, I think that's a bit overkill. Uh, so you could also use like bit shifting or frequency shifting rather. So let's grab a frequency shifter. Can make some really dark hi hats like this. Almost claps. You know, and you can go on and on with stuff. Let me show you how resonators can make cool hi hats as well. It's like tuned percussion. And you can just basically do this for days and days and days. And it's really easy, really fast. And you can make your own hi-hats and yeah, just make your own libraries just like this. It's really, really easy, really straightforward and really efficient. So yeah, this has been the tutorial for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something from it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. So plug in plug time now uh it's like for the ones who are sticking around uh so i stream every single day on twitch uh every single day every single wednesday sorry uh so i stream every single wednesday on twitch um so just swing by my channel you probably see, probably seen like an ad here or here somewhere um i stream every single wednesday there i do uh like sound design and uh track reviews so if you've got a track that would that you'd like to see my feedback on just swing by and drop a link i'll be more than happy to have you there and yeah it's like uh prepare for some new stuff very very soon um i've been working quite a bit the these past couple months to have some more content coming up uh both on youtube and music wise and other other things as well so I'm really excited to things that are going to come out, uh, like come up soon. And I hope to share them with you. So yeah, I'll see you later then. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice one.